Last week we talked about raising federal gas taxes so that they can fix the roads and bridges. Well, we'll see if that actually happens, but it looks like that's approved. Now they're back again for another dip into your pocketbook, and this time it's congestion pricing. If you want to hear more, stay right with us. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is 4 Minute Friday, and this is what's going on in your automotive world. Let's put four minutes on the clock. Congestion pricing is coming to a city near you. Yes, New York State and New York City have decided they're going to charge you an additional $10 anytime you want to drive in Midtown Manhattan, which is basically Central Park South all the way to the tip of Manhattan. If that's not enough, they just raised the taxes on the Verrazano Bridge. And if you don't live in New York, that's the bridge that goes from Staten Island to New Jersey and New York to $17 per vehicle. That's cars, not trucks. And if you're using an easy pass, that's the lower price. If you're not, it's $19. That is the highest bridge toll in the entire country. Guess what? Other cities like Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco, they're watching. And they're going to start raising their prices too. Chicago's already said we're there as well. And on top of that, they're going to be adding congestion pricing on top of that additional $10 in order to raise over a billion dollars of your tax dollars supposedly for the roads and bridges. They're claiming that you can use mass transit. Well, you can't use mass transit if you've got a truck and you're doing a delivery. I have a friend who delivers fresh juices. Well, they have to use a truck and it's going to cost them an additional $25 plus each time they go in and out of the city. You know who's gonna pay for that, that additional $25 or even $10 for a car. That price is gonna end up coming to you. The cost of your foods are gonna cost more because there's no way to get food to market unless you use these cargo vans or cube trucks or delivery vehicles. And as far as regular vehicles, people live in Manhattan. I have a home in Manhattan, except I'm, thank goodness, not in that congestion pricing. Yeah, not yet because now they're talking about taking this evil congestion pricing and bringing it to Seattle, where traffic is heavy, San Francisco, San Diego, Los Angeles, Chicago, Miami, Dallas. Yeah, all these cities see ways to take more money, not just your tax dollars that you're already paying to live there, not just the taxes you pay on goods and services, they're gonna tax Ubers. Right now it's at 275 additional for an Uber, 250 extra for a cab, and they're gonna jack those prices up. So everywhere you go, and no matter how you get places, you're going to be taxed. And what are they doing with all these taxes? They're not putting them into the roads and bridges. They're not putting them into education. They're not putting them into things that help you. They're putting them into their coffers because they want to have more government policies and more things so they can buy private airplanes. Remember, all these government officials do not own vehicles. They get transported by cars that you pay for. They don't pay for car payments. They don't have insurance payments. They don't have to pay gas at the pump. Only we have that. And that also includes car repairs. So as they add more ethanol to the gasoline that damages your vehicles, especially those that are not flex fuel vehicles, yeah, those are on us. And they keep taxing us and keep beating us up. This can only go so long. We have to start fighting this. Every week I'm giving you information that you can use to empower yourself. I'm not saying move out of your big city, maybe you will, but I'll tell you what's going on in New York. Real estate prices are going down because people don't wanna buy in the city where it's too expensive. That impacts those people that can't leave. Rental prices, they're going down. People don't want to rent. So they're having more people exiting New York City than are entering. This is also occurring in cities like Seattle, where Microsoft said, we're not going to get taxed to death. So they moved out to Redmond, Washington, raising the price of rent out there. And people are leaving the city and moving further out. The idea of saying, oh, well, this has to do with electric vehicles. That's what all they want. I'm sure some of you will put your comments down below like last week. Oh, it's all about EVs. Well, guess what? They're charging them, EVs and hybrids, an additional $100 per vehicle, plus you're going to pay mileage tax. Plus you still, even if you're driving a Tesla and you're all electric or a Chevy Bolt EV or an Audi e-tron or whatever electric vehicle you have, yeah, you're still going to pay that additional $10 congestion fee plus peak and off-peak pricing. So they're gonna nail you any way they can. They're trying to get you out of your vehicles. Bottom line, this is a war on cars and we need to fight this war because remember, Half of the Dow Jones, yes, half of the stock exchange is automotive related. 
And if you try to destroy this industry, it will destroy the economy, it'll take away jobs, and it's really gonna make things ugly. And if you have any idea how ugly it can get, just take a look at Venezuela. I have friends that live there. It's really that bad, there's no joke. We have partnered with audiobooks.com. You can get a free book. I just downloaded a book that I could take on my next flight. It's a great way to keep up on what's going on and of course, educate and empower. Make sure to click the link down below or go to carcoachreports.com and you can click right there and get your free book. This week in automotive history, April 1st, 1961. This is no April Fool's joke. The Amphicar debuted in New York. That is a car that drives on the road and on the water. That could be a way to get around some of that congestion pricing. That could be interesting. April 1st, 1964, the Plymouth Barracuda was introduced. Actually, that's the first car I learned to drive on, a 70 Barracuda. Uh, April 1st, 1969, the last Chevy Corvair was built. Very sad. Long story, if you've ever driven a Corvair, they're very cool rear engine vehicles. April 1st, 1970, the AMC Gremlin debuted. If you remember that, I'm dating myself. Hey lady, where's the back half of your car? <laughs> Check out the description below for more information and links to details on what we discussed today. Of course, follow us on all forms of social media. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, just click right up there and you can see our latest video. If you'd like to see what YouTube suggests and you have a little bit of time, we have some really cool reviews right down there. And that's what YouTube suggests. And of course, subscribe right over here. All the details are down below on social media. Thank you so much for your comments, for watching and for the follows. We'll see you next week. Take care.